In 2020, Cummins introduced EX ratings for the X15 efficiency series and increased availability to X12 engines in 2021. EX Ratings pair the Cummins engine with the Eaton Cummins Endurant HD transmission, along with a GPS look-ahead device like the Cummins Acumen module or a compliant OEM module. The EX Ratings deliver many drivability and fuel economy features. While the next feature is available with all X15 and X12 ratings, it does require a GPS look-ahead device and can be used with any transmission paired with the X15 and X12. This feature is called Predictive Road Speed Governor. Here with us today are two experts from Cummins to help walk us through what drivers and fleets will experience when this feature is active. Hi, I'm Russ Poling. And I'm Chris Tasnick. In the past, Cummins released Predictive Cruise Control, and now we have Predictive Road Speed Governor. Chris, tell us a little bit how this feature works. Predictive Road Speed Governor works much like Predictive Cruise Control, but with the pedal. It helps you climb hills by allowing you to increase speed prior to entering that hill. It also maximizes fuel economy by reducing speed prior to the downhill, allowing Smart Coast to activate sooner using the vehicle's momentum to maintain the maximum accelerator speed. This allows a driver to maintain speed better on an uphill as opposed to waiting to provide more power while you're on the grade. Does the driver have to do anything to activate this feature? Just be at 100% throttle when you're traveling down the road with cruise control off and vehicle speed at its maximum accelerator speed. Vehicle speed may increase as you enter the hill. Let's take a look at the two ways predictive road speed governor can come into play. First, we'll cover smart coasting while at the maximum accelerator speed limit. While traveling eastbound on Interstate 64, the driver just crested a hill at a speed of 63 miles per hour. The driver continues with 100% throttle as the truck starts the next downhill. Torque output from the engine starts to reduce even though the truck has not yet reached the maximum accelerator limit of 65 miles an hour. The reason this happens is that the GPS look ahead module shows the upcoming terrain along with Smart Coast being active will increase vehicle speed over 65 miles per hour. With Smart Coast active and the vehicle speed reaching 70 miles per hour, engine brakes activate due to the programmed maximum vehicle speed control setting. As the terrain transitions to the next uphill, the maximum vehicle speed control feature deactivates the engine brakes, but the driveline stays in gear, ready to apply torque. At 66 miles per hour, the engine starts applying torque, providing additional speed through the programmed positive offset. This leads us into the second example of the predictive road speed governor event. A little further down the road, the truck is traveling eastbound on Interstate 64 on flat terrain. The driver has the throttle pedal at 100% and is traveling at the max accelerator speed limit of 65 miles per hour approximately 0.2 miles ahead, the GPS look ahead module recognizes an uphill and allows vehicle speed to increase above the max limit. This small increase in max vehicle speed allows the truck to charge the hill at 67 miles per hour. The additional speed helps maintain vehicle speed above 60 miles per hour on this 3% grade. Once upcoming terrain no longer indicates the need for additional speed, the max accelerator speed limit is reapplied to a limit of 65 miles per hour. Predictive Road Speed Governor, another great feature available with the Cummins X15 and X12 